At a time when the HEMA panel report has exposed the condition of women in the Malayalam film industry, comes another report that further exposes the rot. Bengali actress Sri Lekha Mitra has accused film director and chairperson of the Kerala State Chalachitra Academy Ranjit of misbehaving with her during a film shoot a few days ago. A few years ago, beg your pardon, Sri Lekha has revealed that the incident happened during the production of the 2009 Malayalam film. She had gone to an apartment along with other team members to discuss a role when Ranjit allegedly made advances towards her. She says he touched her arm, played with her bangles and stroked her hair, making her uncomfortable. Sri Lekha says she felt so unsafe due to Ranjit's behaviour that she spent the night at her hotel. His actions left her fearful and distressed. Sri Lekha also disclosed that she had complained to documentary director Josie Joseph about the incident, but no action was taken and she was subsequently denied opportunities in Malayalam cinema and excluded from projects for speaking out against Ranjit. On the other hand, filmmaker Ranjit has denied all the allegations against him. Reacting to the allegation, the Kerala Cultural Affairs Minister said the state government is prepared to take action against Ranjit if a formal complaint gets lodged. A redacted version of uh, the HEMA committee report was made public earlier this week. It revealing, revealing explosive accounts of harassment, exploitation and ill-treatment of female professionals in the film industry. The report also alleged that a criminal gang is controlling the industry, pushing out women who resist. Trying to avoid an investigation into the recommendations and revelations of the Justice Hema Committee. He has been uh, trying to uh, make uh, some changes in the report also. Uh, even the Information Commission has allowed to uh, declare, disclose the reports, then they made some uh, mistakes and corrections in the report. And he is now violating his oath. And he is trying to protect all the culprits in this case. So he has to resign. The opposition uh, UDF demanding the resignation of the Honorable uh, Minister for Culture because uh, according to Section 199 of the Bharatiya Jnana, Nyaya Samhita, whenever there is an information about an offence against the women, if it is hiding or it is not taking case, that itself is a crime. So according to Section 199 of the Bharatiya Nyaya Samhita, he has committed a crime. The Honourable Minister for Culture has committed a crime. He has been hiding this thing for a um, uh, long time. You know that it is very evident from the report. Report itself prepared by the depositions given by the victims. They, they have given their evidence. They, are given their, they have given their uh, deposition. It is as evidence as a pen drive and WhatsApp messages with the government. So the government know the fact that a series of offences have been committed uh, these days. Even after getting information that series of offences have been committed, government is not taking any action. They are not ready to make an investigation team. We demand uh, the government should constitute a inv an investigation team. Uh, at the head of that, there should be a woman IPS officer. That is our demand. Unfortunately, government is trying to avoid in their thing. 